Game Boy. Our main review this week is worms on the PlayStation. You control a platoon of four worms, and your mission is to wipe out up to three enemy platoons. But it's more a puzzle game than a shoot 'em up, and your team needs to make good use of their digging and building skills to emerge victorious. Worms also wriggles its way onto the Amiga and PC this week, and it's soon to be released on the Mega Drive. Here's Sir Hale with the PlayStation version. I thought this was going to be another boring Lemmings clone, but I was pleasantly surprised. Worms is one of the most addictive games in years, especially in two-player mode. The playing area in the game is different every time. You can give your worms names as well. I've called mine Andy, Sahail, Violet, and Sonia, and we're playing against Take This, who are one of the better teams in the game. There's a huge variety of weapons, but the main challenge is choosing the right one for the right situation. You can also play defensively sometimes by digging into the ground and hiding, or by using the girders to build defenses. I thought three of the most useful facilities were teleporting because it allows you to put your worms in better positions than they are originally, airstrikes, which you can access at any time and cover a wide area, especially if there's a cluster of enemy worms, and the homing missiles, which center in on your enemies. However, you have to allow for the wind, otherwise they just blow back. This is a stonking game that should be on everyone's Christmas list. Really, is a classic. It's a game you have to practice, but once you sussed it out, it's brilliant. This is an excellent game and hugely addictive. But it's much more fun playing against a friend than against the machine. And the scores for Worms, the boys gave it an excellent five, the girls almost as good, four.